Zetele gana mano sigredesh zipara dasa nagabado siata ekabadi ala barosia tetele bosh zana gabadi ala barosa taya ke simaga zigede zetele gredo sibredos estana bada ala barosha taya ekababa baro degede bosi nagada ala baros iste nagabado siata tete ligodosa. E mahana mana sita la baro shigadaya Rege de bodo sigada bada libre dosa nagadaya Tana mano sigede bodo The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man Makes tremendous power available Rabada sita libre dosi magadaya la bado E kababababababa Release power tonight, release power this morning Release power, release power Rege de bodo Sigada badaya la baroshi ataha e kamagada si tele bado sataya rama so pregede shataya ligede sana manosia a leke todo do sigede le brede la bado sana gadaya e koso to li brede she tele barada da da bado si anaka li gredo sa e koto li bara bado sa e koto li bara bada si kete la bada shataya we have come before the king we have come before the king we have come before the lord of all lords we have come before the almighty god before whom nothing nothing is big no situation is impossible before whom we get the results that we couldn't get anywhere in the world the one who holds the key to every situation we have come before our maker before our king one who chose us, Rebada Siketele Bado Siataya, Ekabada Badosha, who understands our frame, who understands our making, who knows every details about us, Haha, Ekodobo Sikataya Baha, the one with whom we cannot hide anything. He knows the intent of our heart, He can see through our heart, He knows our thoughts, Ekobarada Bashitaya Barosa, Kamani Gados, our deliverer. The one who rescues us, the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way, the one who calls us out of darkness into his marvelous light. E kabado sita na bada shataya, rege de bado sikataya, rabada sitaya. The one who answers to every scientific complications. E kana soto ni kabado sita la barada. Oh, we worship you, God, this morning. Oh, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. We we worship you, God. We lift you on high, oh God. We exalt your holy name. Estana bado sita la barosha, rage de bado sige de bada ya la badosa. We are so joyful to be in your presence this morning. We are grateful that we are alive in the land of the living. The Bible says in Psalm 150, "Let everything that has breath <laughs> praise the name of the Lord." We can praise you because we are alive. We can praise you because we have breath in our nostrils. We can praise you because we can lift up our hands this morning and worship your majesty. We thank you for the gift of another day. We thank you, oh God, for what you're doing in and through our lives. We worship you, God. Have your way. Have your way in this place today and be glorified. Take your place, oh God. 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 Oh God, manifest your presence this morning. Hallelujah. Leko do sita bada bado siata. Eka nama nama do sige de de bo shada badaya. Lega do si anagada ligre de shanagadaya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, the King is exalted, and the King is exalted forever. The King is exalted. The King is exalted. Hallelujah. Baba, can we just praise God today, this morning? Can we just lift him high? Can we just worship him? <laughs> he deserves our praise. He deserves our thanksgiving. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all adoration. Can you just help me lift his name high this morning? Come on, let's sing to him. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. 
Lord, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are exalted in this place. You are exalted. We praise you, Lord. We give you all the praise and we give you all the honors. Lord, we exalt you. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. He is exalted, the King is exalted, and I would praise Him. He is exalted, forever exalted, and I would praise His name. lives, God. That's all we want to do with our lives. We just want to lift you high, God. We just want to lift you high, God. Oh, let our lives be a sweet smelling savor unto thy King. Be exalted, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory Praise to Lord. Jesus. Amen. This is Unburdened 10.0. Can somebody help me just leave the name of Jesus high this morning? I want to thank you for joining us on this 10th edition, month in, month out. The goodness of God has continued to prevail on this platform. We just want to celebrate his goodness and thank him for all that he has done in the last 10 months. I can't believe it's 10 months already. I can't believe that every time we have come, God has honored
covered us with his presence. He has brought deliverances. He has brought restoration. Miracles have taken place. And it is my delight to welcome you to this session today. And I'm praying and I'm asking that for whatever it is, whatever reason you have joined in today in expectation of what God will do, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not go back the same. In the name of Jesus, you will have an encounter that would change your life forever. In the name of Jesus, thank you so much for being here. Please do well to share this video so that it can reach, it can go so far and reach wide and you know, people can come in touch with what is happening here. I want to thank you so much for being here. It's going to be a moment in the presence of God. I came with a word, I came with what God has impressed on my heart and I trust the Lord that as we begin to look into his word as we begin to receive light from what God has said I pray that we will open our spirit to receive what the Lord has put on our heart especially as as it regards this time that we are in we are in the last days we are in the last days and it's only going to get intense there is no backing down, there is no slowing, there is no let's take it easy. It's only going to get intense and I hope that you are ready because there is no time for play, there's no time to be casual so you don't become a casualty. There is no time to play small, there's no time to just take it easy because the devil ain't taking it easy. You hear what I'm saying? He isn't taking it easy so we cannot afford to take it easy. Amen. I came to the world with a burning desire here this morning. So recently, God has been opening my eyes and, you know, putting on my heart so strongly um, about what he's doing in these last days. And one of the things God said to me, he said, I am recruiting my end time army. Ladies and gentlemen, ah, you didn't hear me. God is recruiting his end time army. And one of the things God said to me so strongly and so profound is that women are going to be in the front row of that army. And interesting for me, or, um, you know, as God would have his word confirmed, I started to hear the same words from apostles and prophets and pastors reiterating the same thing and making mention of the fact that they have received the same revelation that God is raising women as part of his end time army. But that's not the end of the story. That's not why I'm here today. So a few weeks ago, God woke me up with this strange burden, very burning burden. And I heard it so loud in my spirit. I am recruiting the fallen heroes. Oh, that word hit me so hard. Fallen heroes. God, what are you talking about? Who are the fallen heroes? And then God started to explain to me, Bobby, God started to explain to me, the fallen heroes are not unbelievers. The fallen heroes are not people who have, who, have, who have no encounter with God. The fallen heroes are, are not those who haven't experienced God or known his ways. God started to open my eyes to see that interestingly the fallen heroes are those who have walked in strange dimension of the grace and the anointing of God. There are people who have an encounter, who know God, who have walked with him. But somewhere along the line, the devil stole from us. We lost them. Somewhere along the line, they walked out either by rebellion or betrayal or disappointment. Delayed expectation. And they walked out on God. And listen, God is now saying that in this end time army that I am recruiting, these people are part of the people that will be waging war against the kingdom of darkness. So he has sent me here to pray them back into the kingdom. 
And so we are going to be standing in the gap today to pray back the giants that have fallen back into the kingdom of light. What I'm telling you is not, it's not, it's not joke. This is serious business. And as we stand in the gap today, we are praying for these fallen giants and fallen heroes as the Lord tagged it. Things are going to be happening because here's what God said to me. He said, I've started a stirring in their hearts. I'm, I'm reminding them of who they are. And as I was listening to the Spirit telling me about this, this, this happenings, it says some of them are beginning to realize that I'm not where I should be. I'm not in the place where I ought to be. You know what happened to the prodigal son in, 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 in Luke chapter 15 verse 17, I guess, when he said, and he came to himself. So what happened all along before he came to himself? He was lost. He forgot who he was. He was eating of the, of the food of swines. He was in want. He forgot who he was. And remember that scripture in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 that talked about the God of this age that blinded, has blinded their eyes so they cannot see the glory, the light of the gospel. There is a God of this age. And one of the things that's going to be happening here, this is not a casual prayer. This is an intense warfare. And, I, and it is intentional that God is sending it in the airwaves. There is a war going on right now. You don't understand. It's a war for destinies. It's a war for lives. Those whom God has called and put his hand upon. And the enemy is fighting so hard to have them. But today, you know them. You may be joining us and you know that I'm talking about you. God has been, God has been staring your heart to answer his call, but you are struggling. You know within your heart that I, you are the one I'm talking to. And you also know if you're joining us live, that probably there are other people that you know who used to be in the faith but have fallen. You will stand in the gap, call their names as we pray. Because this is not just a prayer without results. This is a prayer backed up with evidences of results. Because we will receive testimonies of people turning back to God. Hallelujah. Are you ready to stand in the gap? Are you ready to stand in the gap for your brothers? Are you ready to stand in the gap for your sister? Get back up again. Get back up again. Get back up again. Get back up again. Listen. Some of us in the household of the brother of faith, we were the ones who pushed them out. Some of them fell into sin. And that scripture that says that if your brother falls, you should be there to pick him up so that you can stand together. He said, what to him who falls and there is no one to pick him up. So when somebody falls and instead of helping them to stand, we judge them. We condemn them. We push them away until they get so lost. They are looking for, for, for comfort and, 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 and compassion. They couldn't find any. They went into the street and they found people who were willing to take them in. When we sat on the seat of judgment, they walked in the streets and found people who were willing to house them. What they could have found in the household of faith, they found on the street. Some of them, we pushed them out. But by the mercies of God, we are going to pray them back in. Because there is work to be done. These people know God. They have encountered God. And God says, I have put myself on them, so I can't let them go. And there's a staring, the waters are being stirred up. There's a staring happening right now. 
There's a stirring happening right now. There's a stirring happening right now. So we begin to call them back in. Call them back in. Call them back in right now. Call them back in right now. I'm telling you that some there's a lot of spiritual activities are happening right now. Open your mouth and begin to call them back in right now. It doesn't matter how far they have gone. It doesn't matter how lost they are. But there's something that happens when the prodigal son said he came to himself and he said how many servants in my father's house have bread enough to eat and spare and I die here in hunger God forbid God forbid an unveiling is happening right now let there be an unveiling let there be an unveiling in the name of Jesus everything that has covered them up from the truth of the gospel today we rebuke that devil over their lives in the name of Jesus. Are you praying right now? Are you praying right now? Pray for yourself. You might be the one that I'm talking about. Hey, it's a warfare. The devil is fighting so hard to gain control of your life ha kaba do sige de botosha regete manana mano sita ya la bara ha e kaba da shia la ha rega ba do sige de botosha oh open our eyes oh god raba da gata na ba ro sige de de botosha e kama na mano sata ya regete ba do sige de botosha e kata la gata ba da ligre de shige de de botosha raba da gaba da gaba da gaba da gaba da sha regete Oh, there is work to be done. Get up and come. Come, the Lord is waiting. In the name of Jesus. Hey, the prodigal son came to his senses. He said, I will arise and go to my father. Somebody is going to arise today from that bed of adultery. Somebody is going to arise today from that place of alcoholism. Somebody is going to arise today. In the name of Jesus, every chain that has held you bound, we break loose. In the name of Jesus, get back back up again get back up again get back up again get back up again the devil cannot witness over your destiny get back up again get back up again for a sense it's just a sinner who fell but he didn't stay there he got back up he got back up again get back up again get back up again listen to what happened when the prodigal son came back home the father saw him from a great distance and he ran to him he ran to him. He didn't wait for him to come. He ran to him. He ran to him. God is waiting for you, my brother. Oh, God is waiting for you, my sister. God is waiting for you, my brother. God is waiting for you. His love is big enough and wide enough to consume you. There's nothing that you have done that is, can stand the love of God. In the presence of the love of God, it consumes it. My sister, get up and come. My brother, get up and come. God is waiting on you. His love is waiting on you to redeem you from where you are to where he wants you to be. Come on, get up and come. Come. Come to the saving grace of God. Come to repentance. I call you to repentance. I call you to answer this call today. In the name of Jesus. Oh, get back up again. Can you help me sing that song? For a sense, it's just a sinner who fell down. It doesn't matter how he's waiting on you. He's waiting on you, my sister. He's waiting on you. He's waiting. 
He's waiting. We fall down. He's waiting. But we get He's up. Waiting. We fall He's down. Waiting. But we get up. We get up. We fall down. But we He's get up. up. We fall He's down. He's waiting on you. But we get up. He's waiting on you. For the sin just our sin holds bow down. And God He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. We fall down. Come. But we got Come. Up. We fall Come. down. But Come. we got up. God wants to use we you. We fall Come. down. But we Come. got up. He's calling. We fall down. God's calling you. But we got up. He's calling you. For the sake of just a sinner who's fell down. Oh, and got up. Why don't you get back up again? Get back up again. Just get back up again. Get back up again. For the Savior's just a sinner who fell down. And got up. He didn't stay. Why don't you get back up again? Just move on again. Just get back up again. And move on again. Why don't you get back up again? And just move on again. Why don't you get back up again? And just move on again. For the Savior's just a sinner. Hopes fell down. tell you a story. I know of a brother a long time ago, say like 10 years. He's a very faithful, fervent, committed brother. He loves the Lord. He loves the Lord with everything. And he got married and his wife conceived. Hallelujah. And during childbirth, she died. And that was it. He was angry at God. He felt, he felt disappointed in God. There was nothing anybody could tell him. He walked out offended at a God who couldn't save his wife. And that was it. He left. I tell you what we are praying about. Is a reality a lot of people are working in. They have delayed expectation in God. They wanted something. You know, as, we, as I continue to look at that, that, that story of the prodigal son, and I read through and saw that when his brother heard about the merriment that was happening, and he was upset. Do you know 
that some people are like that. I've been serving God with this friend of mine and he's, it seems as though everything is working for this other person, but not me. I pray a lot, I give, I serve, but I see their life blossoming and nothing seems to be happening to me. And for some people, that is reason enough for them to walk away. I've served God for 30 years of my life and there's nothing to show for. There's no evidence. But listen, God's calling you. He's calling you. Some of you are walking in outright rebellion. You just want to get back at God. But he's calling you. He says, come. Come. <laughs> I have work for you. I've anointed you. I've graced you. I've enabled you. I've poured my power and my abilities in you. So come. I'm just going to give you a moment. I'm just going to give you a moment. Something is happening right now. I can feel it. I'm just going to give you a moment to brood. Let the Spirit of God brood right now over the airwaves and take charge and convict every heart that needs to be convicted. Let the Spirit of the Lord take charge and speak to hearts and souls and those who are still struggling. God is saying, come. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. It's only in Christ that we have hope. Look around you and see what is happening in the world. Aren't you just grateful that the things that make people so anxious and afraid and lose their peace, that you can just lift up your hands and worship Him and be grateful and you are happy? You cannot see, you can't see all of those anxieties around you. Aren't you just glad to have a Jesus who steadies you and just gives you peace in the midst of storm? Aren't you just blessed that you are not, you're not anxious when you don't have money or you don't have food you're just in peace what a blessing in Christ alone hallelujah glory to God while God is doing what he's doing we'll just be singing the songs to stir up your heart because the, like I said the waters are already being stirred and all we are doing is just getting you to answer the call and say yes Lord I'm here like the prodigal son I will arise and go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you I'm not worthy I'm not worthy just make me one of your servants I'm not worthy that's what's going to be happening they'll be answering the call as we are singing, please can you go ahead? Kavarosha, please help me intercede, help me speak in tongues. Those behind the camera, just keep praying in tongues because something is happening. I believe it with all my heart. I'm not going to be here. God told me this and I won't come here and just pray and nothing will happen. There's going to be bountiful in testimony. Alone, Hallelujah. My home is found. He is my life. It's called a storm. It's so many grounds. Firm through the fierceness, drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are still, when striving to see. Further, my all in all, here in the love of Christ, I stand. Hallelujah. In Christ alone, 
to our flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless me, this gift of love, our righteous lips, scorned by the words he came to say, till on that cross, that Jesus died. For every sin on him was laid, he in the day of Christ I live. There in the ground, his body lay, light of the world by darkness lay. you out of the will of God. Romans 8 says, verse 1 says, there is therefore now no condemnation. The only reason why you are in that place of guilt is because you are outside Christ. Answer this call today. Rise above every guilt. Rise above every self-condemnation. Rise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who can bring a charge against God's elect? Oh, no, 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 no. It is God that justifies. Yes, Lord. Who is he that condemns? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it was Christ who died. Yes, Lord. He was the one who shed his blood for you and I. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Rise up from that guilt. Yes, Lord. Come to the place of repentance. Yes, and his arms are wide open waiting on you yes, Lord. to come back home. Yes, Lord. Come back home to where you belong. Yes, Lord. Come back home to your place of assignment. Yes, come back home to your place of power. Yes, come back home to your place of purpose. Yes, come back home. This is where you belong. Yes, Lord. In his kingdom. Kabarosita la gabarosita. Leto bara diga da ba do siata. Sigre do sigata baroshi gada. Wounded but come back home. Broken but come back home. Bruised but come back home. He wants you here. Come back home. Thank you, Jesus. Come back home. Thank you, Jesus. No guilt, no power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck you out of his hands. No power of hell, no scheme of man. Everything that has happened are forces of the darkness to take you out of you. He's real. But the devil is a liar. Oh, yes. The devil is a liar. Oh, yes. He has lost this one. He has lost, it all. He has lost this one. Yes. Because you were coming out strong. You were coming more powerful than yes. you have ever been. You were coming graced and filled 
with dimensions of God never seen, never heard, never imagined. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we celebrate your comeback. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We celebrate your comeback. Hallelujah. Oh, there is merriment in heaven, just like when the prodigal son came back home and they were killing all kinds of calves just to marry and celebrate. Let me tell you what's happening right now. There is merriment happening. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody excited here today? Anybody excited about what has happened? God has enthroned himself in the heart of men today in the name of Jesus uh, there's been an unveiling there's been an unveiling men are seeing light in the name of Jesus father we thank we thank you Lord oh we give you all the praise there is joy in my heart this morning I can feel what has happened right here thank you for the deliverances thank you for the courage to step out and say Lord I return I come back to you thank you Lord for the liberation that has happened. Thank you, Lord, for a fresh start with every single person who has answered this call. Oh, the devil has lost this one. He has lost this one. He has lost this one. Oh, there is a comeback happening. We give you all the praise, my Father. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. Oh, we exalt your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of our Father. Glory to Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my sister. Thank you for my brother. Thank you for setting them free today. Lord, we give you all the praise and all the glory. There's a set of people that I want to pray quickly for right now. These are not fallen heroes, but you are gradually slipping away. Now, you don't even know that you're sleeping away because the, the, um, the wants and the needs and the, the things of life is beginning to choke you. So much struggles around you, so much happening, so much need. And you are beginning to sleep away because your gaze and your focus is on the things that you want, on the things that you need done, on the answers that you are not getting. And now you are beginning to grow cold in your pursuit of God. I've asked to just pray for you this morning and charge you back. You know how we charge our phones and you know we just come back active and vibrant and all that. That's what I'm going to be doing with you. Because you are sleeping and you don't even know that you are sleeping away. But hey, listen. God is alive. And it doesn't matter what you're dealing with. He is aware. Do you believe that? He is aware. Do not let any circumstance and any situation around you detect for you how you see God. God is God. Regardless of what you're dealing with. I just want to encourage you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my sister and I pray for my brother this morning. Father, I ask, oh God, for there to be a fire, a fresh fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever has made their fire grow cold this morning, I ask, oh God, that you will cause there to be a fresh fire, a burning desire to pursue you in the name of Jesus, a desperate search to encounter you on a whole new level in the name of Jesus. Those who are struggling with their prayer life, I pray, oh God, that you will put fire that they will they will they will they will experience a new level of encounter with you in their secret place in the name of jesus revelation will come freely with ease in the name of jesus that we understand your workings and your dealings with them per time in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father thank you for doing this for us and thank you for the testimonies that have come forth we give you all of the praise and all of the glory hallelujah glory to jesus thank you heavenly father you see this end time army we are talking about it's not the type that you used to know it's not the type that you have encountered before it is a different breed it's a special breed so there's a recruitment going on i'm telling you i can see it by the spirit it is real god is recruiting men and women who will stand in these last days and proclaim the gospel of god with so much boldness and confidence because that's what's happening in the world People come out and they preach their gospel. And why should I be timid about the gospel of God? Hallelujah. 
And so he's embracing us with power. He's embracing us with authority. He's embracing us with all that we need to confront the darkness in this world. And you have it. Hallelujah. You are part of that army. Say glory to Jesus. <laughs> Woo, the kingdom of darkness is in trouble. I'm telling you. Father, we just give you praise. We thank you because we know that you are here today. And we know that you have answered us. And we know that you have redeemed souls and lives. And you have started us on a whole new journey. Thank you for always being here today. It's been an amazing time just enjoying your presence and standing in the gap and praying for your people this morning. And Father, we ask, oh God, even for us, we ask that we will encounter you on a whole new level in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, as we continue to submit to your will, to your authority, Lord, I pray that you just become more in our lives in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory as we sing excess love in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Glory to Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love is kind. Mm -hmm. Your love is you fill my heart Ooh. with so much peace and joy. Can you say you're amazing if you can? You're home. You make my life. You make my life feel right. All your promises, come on. All your promises are His. An amen. An amen. You're not a man, you never lie. And we'll sing together. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Thank you for 